There, Felix's death is a tragedy that has certainly shaken our entire community in recent days. Our team coverage tonight continues with more reaction. 13's Callie Holthouse heard from some community members calling for change in the aftermath. Yeah, people are angry at how they believe Kansas's child welfare systems failed Zoe Felix. They want answers as to how she was allowed to live in a home without utilities, be kept out of school, and later find herself residing in a homeless encampment. They hope Zoe's death sparks changes. As a father himself, Jenner Cochran feels compelled to take action in the wake of five-year-old Zoe Felix's murder. I was shocked and saddened by what I heard transpired. He and his wife planned a demonstration, the March for Zoe. They say they'll demand Governor Laura Kelly call a special session to address systemic deficiencies in Kansas's child welfare systems, including the Department for Children and Families. You know, how did this happen? How, how did the DCF go there and, and determine that she was in a safe situation? Um, it's just, I think, a collective disappointment. They want to see stricter sentencing for child sex crimes and the creation of a network of emergency foster homes. I, I think a lot of people would like to see the legislatures in the state come back to Topeka and pass some legislation that addresses the uh, foster care issues that this state is notorious for having. Uh, the homelessness crisis, and like I said, the, the stricter sentencing laws. Cochran says it's time to start looking for substantive solutions to what he calls a homelessness crisis. There's a major, major homelessness crisis here in Kansas, and it's not just Topeka. It's in Lawrence, too. It's in Kansas City. It's in Wichita. It's everywhere, and nothing is being done. There's more and more tents. There's more and more violence, and nothing is being done by the legislatures. The march is scheduled for 4 p.m. Saturday. Participants will meet at Evergy Plaza and march to the Capitol building. Cochran emphasized that this is a peaceful demonstration.